All right, here is my uh, Hobby King uh, multi-copter board from the KK multi-copter uh, design. This is version two of the board. Fortunately, I got it just as they uh, upgraded it, um, so that was great. It just has a bigger uh, space allocation. That's that's about it. But um, you can see here I have plugged into it these two uh, sets of connections here, basically servo extenders that I hacked. And if you bring them over here, they connect to they connect in here, and they're quite hacked together, which is the fun part about it. You can also see here, this white one is just plugged, the wire is just plugged directly in there because I, as I was hacking the, the servo extensions, the, the top got cut off, and so uh, I wasn't actually sure if it was gonna work. I was having some trouble for a little while, and it might have worked, but I just stuck it in there, and that worked, worked uh, in the long run. And this, this cable runs to the USB ASP controller that I got off of eBay, which is great, except for the fact that it's sort of reversed twice, I think, both ways, and, and uh, how it how it uh, is programmed. So I actually noticed that there's, you see there's a, you might see there's a little arrow there in the middle on the controller, and then this red wire runs along, and all of that's indicating pin one, and then that runs over here, and then on this, you're not gonna be able to see it here because I could just barely see it um, when I looked at it, but uh, we had pin one there, so I had to sort of turn everything around and then flip everything um, as I was trying to program this uh, from the wonderful RC Explorer's instructions. And so you can also see here's on the computer, the KK, well, I should not do that, KK multi-controller software and so I'm going to run that over here. Click on run, and we'll see the lights flashing here. All very exciting. Light flash, light flash, and that goes on. And over here that we'll see just a very brief flash. Flash. And it's all programmed, so that's exciting. I programmed it with the Tricopter 2.3 software which hopefully uh, is the latest, although it's, uh, if so, they've, they've advanced a lot in the last couple months in the versions of the software, so hopefully it'll be nice and work well. And that's the KK board.